Oh, you on the road? What's nah, I ain't in the baby? road. I'm, I'm, I ain't in the road. I'm, I'm parked in the, uh, in the driveway of the crib. How you feeling? I'm good. We out here blessed in this quarantine life, you know. Mm -hmm. That's how we do. How's this uh, quarantine been treating you? Dropping projects in the middle of a quarantine. I gotta say. I've been appreciating, you know what I mean? I've been appreciating. I've been appreciating the time, off the time. I've been getting spent with my, with my pretty baby, with my daughter. I've been, you know what I mean? I've been bothering these niggas up on the basketball court <laughs> at the crib, you know what I mean? I've just been, I've been living a normal life, you know what I mean? I ain't even really been wearing no jewelry. I've just been, I mean, know, I've just been cooling. You know that might saying? be like a little mental detox that y'all need, especially with the stress oh, of dropping so the projects. Mm -hmm. There go Big Vaughn. Mm -hmm. What's up, man? What's going on, big dog? So, when you dropped your album just a week ago, obviously you got a lot of feedback online. If you haven't checked it out, Blame It On Baby is out now. Mm -hmm. Out but here, we're going was, crazy. What was your reaction to all of the feedback, good or bad, that was going online? Because I feel like with this quarantine life, people are just bored. And so they just, you know, push it negative energy. But at the same time, you had a lot of people that was going hard saying, yo, this album is fire, especially with all the features that you had on there too. Mm -hmm. What was I mean, your reaction at, to it? At the end of the day, I don't, I don't really, I never really had no reaction to the feedback I get from anything I put out. Like, you know, I take the good with the bad every time. Like, it really don't matter. It's all the same to me. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Even if mm -hmm. you compliment, even if you compliment me, I won't, I won't take it too serious because I don't, you know. I, I don't quite believe you. You get what I'm saying? I still want to work hard. I want to be the underdog. I'm that type. You know what I mean? So I just keep it rocking. I continue to get better regardless of whatever kind of feedback I do get back. But, you know, I'm already, if I put a project out, I know what it is before I put it out regardless. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I know what it is, you know. So you got your confidence in your project. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I got my confidence in everything I do. So when you dropped it, though, were you kind of hesitant to drop it in the middle of what's going on in the country? With everybody just being in the house, you were just like, fuck it, I'm going to drop it. No, I went tripping. It was time for it anyways. I had already had it. Uh, I was already, I really pushed it back two weeks because that happened. They pushed it back two weeks. You get what I'm saying? Because of the whole coronavirus thing. I was going to drop April 3rd. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I would have been on tour right now. Right. I would have been on tour right now. You know what I mean? I was supposed to be on the tour. So I really wasn't tripping at all. It was time to put music out regardless. Like, I get bored if I don't continue to put out music. I don't put out three albums in the last 13 months. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's I got to continue to put more music out, you know what I mean? Just to keep myself entertained, just to give myself something to ride to nonstop. I got to keep going. So that's another question I wanted to ask for you because I know a lot of artists right now, especially when you're one of the hottest rapper out, obviously your album being out is definitely dope, but a lot of your bag also comes from doing tours and with you having to postpone your tour down basically indefinitely, like how are you guys adjusting to that? Like what's what's the next move? If we can't do tours, what are we gonna do? You know what I mean? Like yeah. I mean, how do you, you still know, touch like, fans? I you know, just through this, I I really, you know, I'm blessed enough to, to understand how to touch fans virtually before yeah. the coronavirus. Like I can do the simplest thing with my iPhone and, and get to you, you know what I mean, a lot easier than a lot of artists may know how to do it. You get what I'm saying? So it's really, you know, I was I was going viral too much. I do, you know what I mean? So I really wasn't, you know, this ain't it ain't nothing new to me. You get what I'm saying? At any given moment, like I can pick my phone up and make you look. You know what I mean? Like I understand that, you know, and with music videos, like I can make you I can make you look right now. Like I can heat it up at any given moment. You know what I mean? I understand it. So it's more so uh, you know, it's more so a blessing in the, in disguise to me. And what it's gonna do is gonna separate the men from the boys because see the other artists, they're gonna have to learn. They're going to have to learn how to touch people without being able to touch people. You right. Know, that was mm -hmm. something I kind of already was a little was a little advanced at, you know what I mean? So this ain't nothing. It's, it's second nature to me. Like, this, you know, I ain't really tripping. I adapt to whatever anyways. But, you know, I, I really don't have a hard time with keeping my, my friends entertained and acquiring new fans during this because I know how to, you know what I mean, grasp people's attention. You know, yeah. I know how to do it. So is it safe to say that once this quarantine is over and once you're allowed to, the first thing you're going to do is jump back on tour? Yeah, yeah, I already know that. That's another reason why I ain't like, man, I can't take it, man. I'm tired of it because I know the second it is over with. I was already booked until 2021 before the, before the quarantine hit. Yeah, my whole count filled until 2021. So I know the second it is over with, I'm down there booked till 2022. So I'll be 
I'd be a fool to say, bro, I'm tired of this. I can't, I'm tired of this. I can't take it no more. I'd be a fool to, uh, to say that I ain't, I ain't even rushing it. Let it, let it, you know what I mean? Go away. I right, go away. I ain't tripping because I know the second it is up, you know, I'm right back on. I can't sleep in my big crib no more. I'm right back <laughs> sleeping in hotels, hotel to yeah. hotel to hotel. I stayed in a hotel. It's 365 days in a year. I probably stayed in a hotel. 300 days last year. I probably slept in a hotel out of the 365. Nah, that's I, swear, not cool. I swear. I got the receipts to prove it. That's how it's funny. So you basically slept. enjoying this quarantine time, playing basketball. Okay, sure. Playing basketball, all that. You know what I mean? I'm out here doing stuff I don't need. You know, I didn't. Well, when my mama used to make us go outside and cut the grass when I was in high school, I was in high school. I'd mm -hmm. like, I, I put some money out of my pocket and pay somebody. I pay somebody to go do it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I grew up the street and paid it the neighborhood. You know what I mean? Dude to be cutting grass. Hey, bro, cut my yard. I'm on a trip. You know what I mean? I, I've been out here cutting grass and everything. You know what I mean? I'm out here living. Yeah. I'm out here living the life. You get what I'm saying? I'm enjoying yeah. it too. I'm, I'm loving it. You know what I mean? I'm loving it, man. I'm, I'm working around the yard and all kind of shit. I'm supposed to be paying niggas to do that. I'm, oh, you real domesticated plenty. right now. I got, I got plenty of paper. I'm out here. Hey, look, I'm out here cool. I'm, Yo, out here. I'm, hey, hey. I'm chopping down trees and shit. With a, I ain't never chopped a tree down in my life. I used a chainsaw for the first time today. You get what I'm How's saying? How's that go? Yeah. Gee, that, that shit dangerous. You get what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, that shit dangerous, but you know, I'm 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 loving it though. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this time. You know what I mean? And I'm making the best of it. And um, by the time the everything do go back to normal, man, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I, I know for a fact it's going to be 100 miles of running with me, so I'm just soaking up every bit of it, you know yeah. what I mean? So when it is time to switch gears, I'm I'm good to go. And I'm ready to yeah. rock. I know a lot of people are definitely excited about the album, especially uh, one of the features specifically people were going crazy about was the one with Roddy Rich. How did that joint come along? A rock star. That's amazing. When I knew it was a hit song, I made it. I had already had my portion of the song done. And mm -hmm. it was like either one or two people I wanted on. I either wanted Thug on it. I either on a Young Thug or, or Roddy Rich, and I had reached out to both of them. And I had um, me and Roddy was been supposed to get in. You know what I mean? We were just waiting until we both was at the same place at the same time. Yeah, both was, was on fire. That was special when he was on his run with the number one album, number one song. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I had called him out of L.A. I hit him like you in L.A. Like yeah, like, let's get it in. We linked up. We was in the studio at like six, seven in the morning. We got some more too. We got another one. Oh really? Mm -hmm. For Roddy or for you? I mean, it's it, nah. That's his. Now that one, he on the hook. Yeah. I just and I just put a verse on it. You know what I mean? Oh, that's that what we are. I just put a verse on it. So, are you back in the studio already, working on new music? Since we all in this quarantine life anyway, like I figure, if, if you're not with the kid, with the family, then you might be in the studio if you can't. Do I'm that. always working. I set the studio up everywhere. I got a studio. I can set it up right here in the crib. I can set it up outside the crib. In the driveway, I can set it up anywhere, anytime. I can set it up, you know what I mean? So I'm always working. I'm always continuing to work. I got a lot in the bag. I got a Was there somebody on this album that you wanted to get a feature from, but you didn't have an opportunity to, or just timing wasn't right, didn't work out? I mean, a lot of people, I, I like working with anybody, you know what I mean? I like, I like working with anybody who is creative and, and who take their craft seriously. There's a lot of people that that I would have liked to work with, that I that I ain't had an opportunity to work with, you know what I mean? But I never, I, I understand that, that, you know, it got to go the way it go. And I'm real big on things happening. Like, genuinely, like, I don't really, I don't force nothing. Especially mm -hmm. when I'm to music, like, I don't force nothing. So, you know, anybody that didn't make it on the album, like, it's all good. I'm sure when the time is right for us to work, we're going to work. I feel that. So who are the people that you're looking at right now, like, Yo, you doing it like you kind of like respect their music that you look at the most. Like they are the people I want to follow. You know what I mean? Not necessarily follow, but you like kind of soaking up camera, just looking and respecting their craft and how they move right now. Like who's Roddy, your top three? Roddy Rich, one of them. Roddy mm -hmm. Rich, one of them for sure. You know what I mean? He an artist. He make great music. You know what I mean? He make great music, and I love the way he moves too. I got the utmost respect for it. So that's definitely one of them. It's my boy. Um, I really, it's a lot of people like I don't never really get too, you know, I don't get too big on 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 name dropping because I never want to leave nobody out or show anybody less respect. Right. I feel like deserve it, you know what I mean? Because me being an artist, like I understand, 
and what come with it. You know what I mean? I understand the ins and the outs. And it's never, you know, it's, it's never a way to name everybody because in order to, to be in this and remain in this game, you got to be cut a certain way. You see what I'm saying? It's just a lot of people. Like, I'm loving the way everybody moving. Anybody who who got something going on, anybody who's staying where they want to be and continue to grow, like, I'm all mm -hmm. for it. You know, that's what I stand on, thousand percent. How do you keep yourself humble and grounded in this? Because, like, I would say over the last two, three years, you've blown, like, out of here. Which I'm sure y'all saw coming, your camp saw coming, but, like, it must be hard to be, like, at the end of the day, I'm still that kid from North Carolina who just, you know, like, how do you stay grounded? I stay around my people, you know what I mean? I stay around my people when I, I put other people in position to be just as good as me, hopefully better. Mm -hmm. not better, you know what I mean? I continue to put people in position to win, and I stay around my people, and I keep myself accessible to people that really be, that create problems for me, really, a lot of times, because I just, you know, I move like a normal person, like, you know, I don't, I move like a normal person, I let anybody get close to me, I, I still hop out, pump my own gas, I still yeah. be in the grocery, I still go in the grocery store just to grab a box of cereal and some milk, you know, <laughs> be looking at me crazy, I'm pushing the buggy, my buggy, so I walk by that, they like they can't believe I'm in there. What you doing in here? I'm pumping gas. But what you doing here? I'm like, nigga, I'm pumping gas, nigga. Like, what you? Man, what you mean? It's a gas station, my nigga. I got to pump in my car. What you mean? I'm, I'm pumping gas. It's just, you know, I just, I, I move. I'm a normal person. That's how I stay humble. That's how I stay down to earth. I'm really down to earth. My feet on the ground, just like everybody else. So I gotta, you know, what I mean, I gotta move. I gotta move around. I gotta maintain, just like everybody else. So. I just, you know, I just remain myself through everything. I mean, I stay true to myself, stay true to what I stand on. And that's how I stay grounded, you know what I mean? I what's, the, I what's the craziest fan experience you ever had? Like, I know you be having fans that be doing, like, wild stuff, and you know what I mean? But has anything ever stood out to you like, yo, this chick is mad crazy, where you had to be like, where we got to go? Like, she's out of here. She's 5150, call, call the boys on her ass. You got stalkers at the house? At Nobody's going to hop the fence? Nah, that ain't going to go good. Hop my <laughs> fence, that ain't going to. That ain't going to go good. You got my fence. Um, but, uh, nah, I ain't got I ain't, I ain't, ain't got that type of stuff going on. I ain't even about to speak that into I hope. I just hope don't nobody think that's okay to do. I um, mean, you know, ladies get crazy with it. Like, somebody just tried to do it at CB's house maybe a month ago, whatever, whatnot. You know what I mean? They spotted her coming, but, like, it's kind of starting to become a norm, which is psycho to me. But. Yeah, it's a good thing that's about to come because I could have went, I could have went the wrong way, but uh, but I didn't had when it come to the the fan, you know, fan interaction and, and crazy moments with fans, man. I didn't had, I didn't had some of the some of the wildest moments for sure. I'm already knowing, mm -hmm. like, I, you know, it's like it's like I had a whole nother level at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah, a whole nother level. But I I try to always make sure if I can, I make sure I make that person day. You know what I mean? If I can, you know. It must be hard, though. Yeah, you know. It's, it's what come with the territory, though. You see what I'm saying? So I ain't tripping. I'm, well, a, I'm, a, I'm an international sex symbol. I got I to gotta okay. accept that. You know what I'm talking about? I'm a sex symbol. You better drop a calendar, then. Stop yeah, playing. I'm a sex symbol. You're so silly. Well, congratulations on the new album. I appreciate you. Appreciate Any last words you want to say to the Bay? Make sure you go check it out. Blame it on Baby out Blame right now. Blame it on Baby out. right now. Go check that out right now. You in the Bay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah y'all go buy y'all some of that legal weed and roll up and uh, stream that. Blame it on Is baby weed out. legal there yet? Hell no. No, Carolina ain't going to never legalize weed. Never. So wait, y'all in the quarantine? I don't, don't even smoke? smoke no more, though. I don't even smoke. I ain't smoked since the ball dropped. But damn. But your but mm -hmm. your homies probably smoke. I know. Oh yeah, right. all the time. I'm around it. I'm around it all the time. I don't. That... I only got a desire to smoke no more. I be cooler. Or How you'll you see me it? smoking when I smoked you. You saw me smoking every day. You know what I mean? I'ma smoke the best. Why'd yeah. you smoke? Why'd you quit? It's just cold turkey. Just I don't you know. I didn't have my way with it for so long. It's just like. You know, I do different things like that just to test myself mentally, you know what I mean? Discipline wise. Just to, you so know. you think it's, you, it might That's be temporary? The, I you mean, might smoke again a little bit? Who knows? I ain't smoked in, in four months. What is it? April, what, 23? Four months, 23 days, 24 days. So. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's like that with everything. Like, I ain't, don't nothing really got a hold on me. Like, I, I got control over anything I involve myself in. I don't know if I could do that. That's the one thing where it's like, mm -hmm. 
we got issues with that. You feel me? But anyway, I'm gonna let you go. I appreciate you jumping in. Right, Shout man. out the Bay Area. Sure. Me? I appreciate Next time you come through, come tap in. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your quarantine life. Stay safe. Any, huh? Any last right. words you want to say to the Bay folks before we let you go? Nah, y'all hold it down. Go stream blaming on baby right now. Any problems you run into, any issues you have in life, anybody upsets you, do what everybody else doing. Just blame it on baby. Yeah, there it is. I'm Thank gone. you so much. Appreciate, Appreciate you, brother. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tapping in. I am about to go back to work here at 106 KMEO. Y'all can follow me at Shay Diddy. And see y'all.